All right. So I've identified two people. And I guess if, uh, or who, who else is identifiable according to the game? So I have, I figured out that guy. I have not figured out that guy. I have not figured out that guy. I have figured out that guy. And if I look at this thing, was it telling me that there's somebody else I can still identify or, or is that it? I don't know. Let me look at uh, Abigail real quick. Well, her cause of death is a is a is a face full of Are you fucking kidding me? She got She got She got owned by a Kraken. She got Kraken clubbed. You know, you know what's really cracking is her face. <laughs> okay, um, so who was present at the murder? Uh, the Kraken. And this dead guy. And this dead guy. And this dead guy. Oh, oh, he's missing a lot of leg. And this dead guy. Boy. Shit went real south. First there was a ton of murder, and then there was a fucking Kraken. Boy, that, uh... It's not what I expected. The Doom. I see. I'm not... I don't think I'm quite done with the end. But... That's something else. Inside the captain's quarters. The, the corpse was moved post-mortem. Who is they and how did they die? Uh, ten others were present. Okay, so... This is Abigail. We know that much. And she... Was crushed. Nope. She was clubbed by the beast. <laughs> uh, how do I... How do I figure... Uh, what do I say? I guess she was crushed by rigging. I mean, what? Uh, how would how, how would you describe that? You okay, dude? Good lord. Okay, so she was crushed by. This is like the mast. I guess it's rigging, but let's just say. Abigail was crushed by rigging. And let's see what happens. Well done. Three fates correct. Yay! So now it's typeset in, so we know it's true. Okay. Uh... I guess this is my progress in the game. That's kind of cool. Uh, when your pocket watch is open, it's pointing at the chapter and part numbers that body is assigned. Ah, I wonder why my character is freaking out. I can do an action? What is my action here? My ability to walk more? Does this allow me to like change the past or something like that? What am I what am I supposed to be doing here? The game is a lot more intense. This guy is glowing now. So is this is this like memory within a memory now? It looks like that must be the case. 
So within Abigail's memory, I can now figure out what happened to this guy. Oh, this guy is Maba. There is no way that this guy is not Maba. Um. Huh. I... Well, okay. So, that is how I summon more co corpses. I am a necromancer by proxy. Or maybe Abigail's the necromancer by proxy. I'm not entirely sure how necromancy works now. Okay. Cool. Let's... Before I get too far ahead of myself, though, I am going to quickly check if there's anybody else in the end that I can identify yet. It does not appear to be the case, so I guess we're going to go back to the table of contents, look at the doom, and we'll base everything off of that. So at the doom, we were a little bit further south... And we had on the bow, on the gun deck, on the main deck, Abigail was crushed by falling rigging. Then others were present. And we have a conclusion. I wonder, hang on. Shepherd will remain unknown as he reached the ship. Okay. If I go to the end, do I have a conclusion written down there? I don't think so, right? Because I haven't done everything. So the end doesn't have a conclusion. What do you figure? All right, well, let's go check out Maba's corpse. Sorry. What? Okay, so Maba was basically had his legs torn off of him by the Kraken. This guy was probably trying to help him. It seemed to have not been that effective. And they were killed. They were sh killed trying to kill the Kraken. This guy was... This rain effect is absolutely beautiful. Uh, this guy appears to have fucking punched a tentacle off of the Kraken. <gasps> the cockboat! That's- there's the cockboat! Now we know what the fate befell the fucking cockboat! Oh, that's why it's gone. The Kraken ate the cockboat. Oh, man. <gasps> what the hell is this thing? A cow? Oh, sure. That cow is fucked. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff happened. Ah, uh, no! Abraham Lincoln, I was trying to save you. All right. So who is this? How do they die? They are Maba. Oh, there's no dialogue. This unknown soul. Maba from New Guinea. He was... What? How the hell do you scry torn apart by beast? All right, I can now find another corpse to make it teleport to the present. Whomst? Probably. The I wonder if I can pick exactly who I want to do this to. Oh, I probably need to press space, and then that activates my um past ghost vision nothing nothing there yes yes warmer 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 
this guy. Come with me to the future, where you're still dead. Sorry, some limitations to ghost power. This is a really cool game mechanic. I mean, all the game mechanics are really, really cool. This one is very interesting to me, but I also kind of have... I don't know how to comprehend it. It's just like... I I am in somebody else's memory, and I summon their memory of somebody else dying. But you know what? It's time for LCD. Ah, that's so much worse looking than I thought it would be. Wow, uh, at least the transcripts in this area are a lot uh, more straightforward. So this guy, I think he got exploded? I can't really tell what exactly happened, but it that looks like an ex- uh, Oh, it looks like he got hit by the tentacle there, and it exploded something, and they were trying to- This guy was trying to like pull him back in via rope? I am not quite sure what I'm looking at here. It is far too difficult for me to tell. Aside from that, we have a bunch of guys who were trying to come up with guns to help him. Uh, Maba, who has a sword and was holding a lantern. So I guess we'll remember to associate sword with him. And that's pretty much all I can identify by looking at this scene. All right. So, am I able to identify this person yet? Nope. But I can tell them how they died. Or if I can, I can tell them how they died, I think they can figure it out. So this guy was exploded? It was, yeah, it was blasted by an explosion, I guess. He did mention gunpowder, so I'd have to be an idiot to not assume that it had something to do with an explosion. It looks like, interestingly enough, I don't have action this time, so... No more corpses have appeared for me. Um. Hmm. That yeah, gotta be an explosion somehow. Well, how do I... Okay, there's the door. I was, gonna, I was gonna be like, I don't know how to actually leave this scene without taking an action to do it. I wonder now... So no new corpses are going to appear. Oh! But we did unlock a way to get below deck now so that is interesting i wonder if the game is going to have me really have like a lot of incomplete information and corpses will kind of appear willy-nilly like different uh i'm gonna have to go back and forth between a couple of different scenes to actually get a full picture of what's going on but let's go downstairs and see what the hell happened here well, I can tell you what fate befell this guy. He was crushed by a telescope. I'm trying to turn it up. Ah. Dirt loose, Connor! That's his nearly over! Ah, Fight your boy! Well, they refer to it as a cannon, but I have a hard time believing that when it's clearly just a Hubble Space Telescope. Ah, this is still the Kraken scene. Got it? So these were the people that were coming up with the guns to try and help fight. Uh, this guy was bringing what appears to be booze, which, I mean, time and a place guy, there was, that was, and that was probably not it. 
And not a whole lot else seems to be going on here. Let's see. What has happened around this side of things? This is probably the guy that is being referred to as Sir, who is yelling, find your footing and stuff like that. This guy looks like he has Maba's legs. And everyone else is not here. There's a snowball. An evil snowball. The telescope lets you see what cannonballs look like up close. Well, let's the other the person on the other side of the telescope, they get a really good idea of what uh what cannonballs look like up close. Have I gotten enough clues to figure out anything else? Nope. Alright. Well, I can tell you what happened to this gentleman. What happened here? Oh, I don't know. I could probably figure it out if I look real, real hard, though. He was crushed by a cannon. Alright. I can use an action here. And it's Mr. Legs. We will figure out what befell him. I think it's this whole sequence with the like the pixies that are flying around it feels very arbitrary because you already have to go up to the corpse once to make it appear in the like to, to, in the memory right like there's no there's not really any um purpose to having to do this a second time I don't really get it uh Keith has made a joke that I assume he made in his own series so if someone wants to hit me up in the timestamp of when he made this stupid pun in his videos on it, feel free to let me know. But Keith said, uh, that cannon was a real loose cannon. Uh, I have had it with your techniques, McGruber. We, in this, on this boat, we, we do things by the book. You're a loose cannon out there. There, I've, I've hopefully improved upon Keith's joke. Hopefully. Man, this live editing is really hard. All right, well. He got exploded because he was attempting to set the fuse on this cannon, which I guess probably led to the deaths of several other people. Um, where's the... Boy, these people are either terrible at cannons or fighting Krakens is way harder than I was led to believe. Um... You can see what happened to these guys. You can see what happened to my boy here. And it doesn't look like there's anything else that really happened of note in this scene. Um, I don't remember seeing this much destruction, though, from the other memory. So I wonder if this happened... No, it had to have happened earlier because this guy died earlier than the guy who was crushed by the cannon in the first memory. But I don't, I don't really reconcile it because I didn't take, I guess I didn't get a good enough look at the other parts of the gun deck to see if there was a cannon that exploded. Oh, two people died. Shit. Oh, they probably died in the same way, right? Let me look at the, the fuse. Alright. So this person, let me walk around to that memory and see if I can identify who the people were. So this guy... Ah, oh, crap. I wasn't... I didn't want to do my action yet. Alright, well, it's this guy, but I wasn't quite ready to do that. Fine. We can do the pixie dust thing real quick, but I'm actually going to go back into the memory I was just at so that I could... I can identify... Well, actually, I don't need to go into that memory. So... Oh, okay, so this was the di the guy that died in the other memory. So he was crushed, and this guy was hit with the cannonball. 
So this guy killed his friend on accident, which is actually kind of tragic. So who is this? How do I identify them? Again, I hit E. I right click and I hit tab. How do I, How if I zoom in on a corpse, how can I figure out who was the corpse again? All right, I look at them. Okay, so this is the guy that was wearing a top hat. Well, he sure as hell ain't wearing one anymore. And this was the guy that was crushed by the cannon. So we should be able to figure this out. This was the guy, he met an unknown fate. He was shot by a cannon. And this was the other guy, I assume, if I'm just going to zoom in on him real quick. Well, he's the only other guy that could potentially have died in this scene, so I assume it's probably a safe bet that it's him. This was the guy who was crushed by a cannon. Crushed by a loose cannon. <laughs> Alright. Wait a second, somebody actually found the clip of Keith making that joke? Holy crap. I hope that... I hope... I... Wow. Wow. All right, how do I leave the scene? Is there a way to do it quickly? Okay, I can just walk through the door to exit the memory faster. All right, we're gonna take a quick break so that I can watch this clip from Keith, I guess. Uh, I can in a hat, most likely. It was crushed. I can in by a real loose cannon. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you barely told that joke at all. Why did you repeat it for me? What? <laughs> <laughs> 